Birmingham was a huge industrial center at the turn of the last century, and it went through some really hard civil rights times. It was really the cradle of the civil rights movement. There are areas in Birmingham that have been some of the most hard-hit industrial areas in the world. Some of these mountains were completely denuded of forest at the turn of the last century, and yet there are these little pockets that have managed to survive and thrive. We're here at Birmingham's Putnam Middle School. I'm Claire Dett now. I was the teacher of the gifted program here at the school. I uh, started teaching here in about 1988. And during that time we built the trail. And we wanted to be able to have a trail that led into an outdoor classroom and that the trail that also would be a guide to nature so children could come. It's a great place to do an environmental unit because of the rich biodiversity, even in this tiny little strip. Jones Valley Teaching Farm partnered with Putnam Middle School, brought in the infrastructure to build this garden out here, to build this teaching space, to help bring their classroom outside to provide a hands-on learning experience for these students. We teach math, science, English, and social studies. I'm using the farm and the food as a platform for learning. Last year, Jones Valley Teaching Farm received a grant from the Audubon Society in Birmingham. And with those funds, we were able to purchase binoculars and birding books, and that helped expand our lessons, our capacity, to allow students to study not only the farm and the food, but the environment more as a whole. All of these raised beds are part of the garden, Jones Valley Teaching Farm, and then beyond shopping retail area. But as we go around through here, you see a perimeter of woodlands with big loblolly pines and white oaks and southern red oaks. This is where our trail leads, back along through the perimeter of the school. We have black cherries, we have sweet gums, and this is primo habitat for brown-headed nuthatches. They love these large growths of mature loblolly pine forest. It was just unfortunately choked up by these really bad invasives in the southeast. So we said, why don't we work with Jones Valley to take out these invasives, restore this habitat, and give the kids a space where they can learn about birds and old forests in central Alabama. Birmingham is home for me, born and raised. The work that is being done here is gonna have a tremendous ripple effect on what it means for students to have application to life. I'm a product of this school system as well as a graduate of Putnam Middle School, and now I'm excited to serve as the mayor of the city of Birmingham. We've also brought in another partner, Desert Island Supply Company, and Disco. The mission of Disco is to give students the creative tools they need to explore and document their worlds, how to write poetry about nature and the habitat and birds. The red oak was telling us, I pounced on my prey like I pounced on my brother. The beautiful sky color blue, it blinks. And if you crack the shell, we have a lot of insides. From hand the beautiful. If I was to be a bird, would you? I'm a woodpecker, not peck a tree. You being you, me being me. I would love to fly throughout the sky, but on the ground is where I can find my friends. <laughs>